Hello, I am Pete, and welcome back to Submerged. Ooh, a little cough there. We are here in this floating... Not floating, exactly. Drowned. This drowned city. And we made pretty good progress in the previous episode, managing to pick up four of those supply caches. So I think in this episode, I'm going to kind of slow things down a bit and do a tiny little bit more exploring. So if we look at the map, for example, there's a supply cache up there we can head to. But I might stop off and pick up some of these little secrets en route. Just because... It's, it's not because so much I want to... Like 100% the game and find all the Polaroids, but I would quite like to explore some of the little side areas that developers have put into the game. Right here we've got this, uh, this much lower rise building that's been ruined. And I should grab the item, you know, just, just because we're, you know, we're not in a hurry here. We're not trying to get through the game as quickly as possible. And indeed, if we were, we could probably finish it this episode. But we don't want to. Right, let's head towards that little item there. So it's going to be kind of somewhat back the way we came. Need a little bit of boost. I think it's probably just to the right over here. Let's consult the map. Yeah, can I get through this gap? I can. Thankfully my boat doesn't take damage when I bonk against things. So, I wonder, can I, can I moor up here? I'm imagining probably not. No. Check the map again. Yeah, it's on this building over here. So, oh, I see some red flowers. That's our moorable spot. Thankfully, the game does give you the UI hint from a decent distance away. Up there looks jumpable. And here's the item in question. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to jump to that other platform up there. And likewise, it doesn't look like I can climb any higher up here. So yeah, let's go back to the boat. Where are we going to next? Forwards and a little bit left. How am I doing? Yeah, going in the right direction. But I'm going to keep my eye out for other spots where I can moor up. Uh, it's just to the left here, on this building that's covered in what's it. Okay, we need to find the, the mooring point. Not looking too promising so far, and I do seem to be just completely making a pig's ear of getting around this narrow section. Oh, there we go, there's our spot. Don't need to get too close to it before the game lets you press the interact button to moor up, which is nice and generous. On the whole, that's how I'd describe this game, quite generous. Oh my gosh, that's a ladder. Little camera change, that's good. Breaks the monotony. And I can actually stop climbing for a second. Ooh, down and up. That's a very tall building over there. Might be worth telescoping that. In fact, yeah, once I get to the top of this crane, that's probably the one of the best vantage points we're going to get in the whole game. Can I telescope while on a ladder? I can. There's another supply cache spotted. Maybe there's something I can use up there. Those groaning noises are slightly disturbing. Okay, not seeing anything else from there. Let's continue to the top. That tall building there has surely got to have something going. I mean, that's going to take ages to climb. Something tells me I'm not going to be expected to climb that, but you never know. The bird's eye. So we've accidentally found ourselves onto a named bit of something. Ooh, one out of eight. Okay. It's really noisy up here. 
Hopefully there's no limit to how long I'm allowed to stay. But my expectation that there'd be lots of things to see through the telescope seemed to be wrong. Oh, I have got an achievement for climbing to the highest point in the world. And I was kind of expecting to find a secret here. Okay, so... Oh, oh, there was something there, yeah. Little standalone secret. Okay, let's run to the other end of the crane, just in case we can see something from there. Well, there is in fact a secret here. This is probably the one I was aiming for. Okay, and telescope from here. Surely there's got to be something. Now, I guess we've already telescoped this corner of the world quite thoroughly. So how does the map look? Yeah, that secret's disappeared. But we've now got this spot to maybe go to. So maybe we should go there first, instead of over here. I want to pick up this secret over here. There's a stray secret. In fact, he has a few stray secrets over here. Maybe let's pick them up and then head to this spot here. Right, finding our way down. Um, let's take the ladder. The alternatives are just too unspeakable to think of. This is vaguely terrifying. I feel like there should be a meter for hand temperature. That would be flying up right now. Ouch. Okay, back in the boat. And we want to head just kind of... Let's head southeast to this little stray one over here. And then it's to my right. It's this thing here. Oh, yes, I see it glistening up there. So I just need to figure out where to moor. There's the spot. And can I jump up there? I can. Yeah, this is another nice, small, low thing that isn't too tricky to climb onto. We get one more photo for our collection. And then immediately due south, there's another one. I hear some sort of critter. There it is. Are you a new whale? Just watching it in case I get a... No, it doesn't look like that. It's a new whale. And it looks like the secret is on this building to the left here. go around until I find the way up. Oh, I saw a thing. These little small fellows here. Okay, getting onto this is not proving obvious. Maybe there's a spot I'm more at the end here. And then hop across. Ah, yes. Uh, oh, it's just down over here. Okay. One more photo for the collection. We're now a third of the way to completion. Not that completion is our goal, but I would quite like to pick up enough stuff that I can piece together the story of this world. Right, so now I'm going to go north by northeast and pick up that one there. Oh, starting to get some weather. Oh. Oh, now that could have been bad. Hello, bird. Do I get an achievement for looking at you? I do. Not an achievement, a collectible. All right, that's probably the item up there we're going for. Well, that's a totally different item. Okay, well, we might as well stop off and pick that up. Ooh, the jelly, no, uh, not jelly, the, the water glows blue. I wonder if that's somehow related to the, the nasty green hands problem that we're encountering. Oh, look at the lighting. Okay, I need to get myself up. Oh, I see a, a grabbable ledge there. 
This is a little bit more of a climb than some of the other little zones we've looked through today. And I keep occasionally tapping shift, hoping that it's going to give me a sprint, but it never does. Okay, where's the ledge? Just here. Alright, and yeah, north with a little bit west. Oh, can I go through the arch? Ah, I didn't notice that little bit of stone there. See, it's getting dark. I can hardly see. Oh, I do see something glistening up there. But I don't think that is what we're aiming for. Now we want to go a little bit further left, probably to this little section here. Right, oh, I think I see some red. And let's climb up this little building and get our treasure, our reward. Should be around here somewhere. It's not a very tall building. Ooh, some lighting glitches. That's interesting. Ah, there it is. I haven't whipped out the telescope in a while. Probably not a bad idea to do that, though. I think I have telescoped this corner of the world quite thoroughly before. Yeah, nothing showing up there. Uh, oh, losing my bearings. Where's the way down? Here it is. Okay, let's consult the map. So we've done a pretty good job of cleaning up some of these little islands here. I'm going to head to this next spot here, just northwest of where we are. And let's get some stuff for Taku. So is it this big square building or is it further away than that? It's further away than that, okay. Oh, I hear something. Hello. Oh, very close. Our boat seems to be unperturbed by the waves. Alright, uh, is it this big building? No, further away than that. Yeah, this is one of those incredibly tall buildings that the game would be cruel to expect me to climb. I feel like we must be getting close. It's just to the left. Maybe this white one here. Does that look right? No, it's closer than that. I think it's this one just here. Well, let's find a place to moor. Hello? I think I've seen you before, little fish. Oh, a cutscene. The obdurate creature. Obdurate? That's not a word you see every day. Two out of eight. Okay, I need to check my, my journal, because... Right, that's a landmark. Right, so the crane was a landmark. The obdurate creature, this thing here. That horse on a thing, that's a landmark. Right. Okay, we are in the right place for this supply thingy. But I need to find a place, maybe if I go into the middle? There's a place to connect and climb. Bonk, bonk, bonk. There it is, on this corner. How did I miss that? Right, the Kitez Municipal. Municipal what? Definitely not a municipal golf course. So, climbing. Our first bit of really serious climbing this episode. Oh, there's a pipe. I uh, don't think there's any benefit in taking this pipe all the way to the top. Oh, apart from that, I can't get across there. So, yeah. So that's as high as I can... Can I keep going with the pipe? No, the pipe stops there. I see, and then there's another pipe to go down. So 
so we need to just drop so we're hanging and shimmy 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 make our way across and up to this zone got a little secret there let's go grab that should I keep calling them secrets what does the journal call them the journal calls them the city's story that feels like a really mouthfuliest piece of word so where to next oh red flowers Red flowers indicating the pipe. Don't often see red flowers indicating a pipe. So the developers again knew that I was going to be struggling there. Okay, the pipe stops here. But there's a little thing I can connect to and move around sideways. Another little plateau. Is there going to be another little Our City story here? Not here. Okay. I do think I recall from the map seeing that there were going to be at least two of them in this area. Uh, and then some flowers. I think I can shimmy round to the right and then catch some pipe. Feels like we're getting pretty close to the top. Okay, get up onto this thing, up onto this thing. And quite a lot of shimmying rightwards will be entailed here. That is not the correct use of the word entailed, just in case you're there thinking... Pete, that's not the correct use of the word entailed. Well done, you get a point. So I definitely saw some secretage around there. And I think I see some around here. Or is that the the supply cache? No, that's that's secretage. Okay. So let's grab this one first. That's the supply cache over there. Okay, let's have a little bit of this. Let's deploy a little bit of quick telescope. Though, I think that, uh, yeah, that there's... That the more we telescope these days, the less we find. I, I think we've done a pretty good thorough job of telescoping. So I'm going to head up here to get the little snapshot that's on the other side. I assume this is going to be the way to go. And this looks like a drop down. This is it. Just quickly whip out the telescope around here. Storm is still happening, though it does seem to be a softening. And I probably can't jump over this box, so yeah, let's go back the way we came. And I think that's probably everything on top of this building, so we can now go and pick up the supply cache. How do I get to that? Ah, around here. I see. Oh, and I think I did... Oh, no, I just need to climb back up there, because I think I did see... Yeah, there's something down there as well, at the bottom of that pipe. Am I going to go for that? Oh, thanks for the poor lighting game. to go up and we are now broadly in the right place to pick up the supply cache but yes there is the detour for that that little photo let's go grab that feels like it's not going to take long to get there there is a pipe that takes us most of the way yeah this is this is an acceptably small detour just to pick up a little item and that goes into the ordering all right, let's make our way back up and pick up that supply cache. Here we go. Let's grab. This is... Was this something to clean the wound? Or to stitch the wound, maybe? Stitching the wound. There we go. Oh, only, only three of these fellas this time. This is the first time that the numbers have decreased. Maybe they're dying out. Or maybe they're just getting bored of waiting. And they've sauntered off to do other stuff. How green am I? Alright, this is the next part of the family story. 
Uh, the kids went off in the boat. There was clouds. There was good days. And I think they, they discovered this green city. I mean, is this us caught up to where we are now? Oh, okay. This is new. I have not come this close before. It was a dream. Or was it? Right, what's next on the agenda? And to stop Taku's infection. Okay. So which way are we going to be going? I guess up to this secret? I'm sure we found another secret. Oh no, it was this one we found. Okay, so yeah, we can head up to this secret. But there's also like more little miscellaneous supply spots around here. Not supply spots. Photo snapshot spots. And I am interested in seeing the world. So I think I'm going to come and pick up these three next. So if I can turn myself so I'm due exactly west. That will take me to the first one. There's a nice little clean east-west route through the city here. That's convenient. Are you a new fish? That might be the same fish we've seen before. How are we doing on the map? About halfway there, okay. Lots of wildlife out here. Uh, I've hit a building. We must go round. Is this... Yeah, this looks like this is probably where we want to be going for, for this little item. We shall head around until we find somewhere where it will let us ashore. Okay. The manoeuvring of the boat when in reverse is not what I expected. You can do some quite interesting things that make the laws of physics cry. Okay, it's going to be a small climb up here. And we need to drop down so we can shimmy on these red flowers. Apparently we're not allowed to jump up to that ledge there. Okay. Glistening item? Oh, there you are at the end. Okay. Quick telescope check. Oh, there's a bridge over there. I'm surprised there's not uh, some sort of pick up ball there. Where would that be on the map? Well, that might be this thing up here, potentially. Definitely going to want to check that out at some point. Uh, nothing over there. Okay, back to the boat. I wonder if there's a quicker way down. <laughs> Definitely don't want to drop down there. Oh, I should watch that for a bit. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen anything of that size before. Well, maybe it's just closer than it seems. Let's watch it from the boat. See if we can get a bit closer. So I'm noticing a lot of the wildlife has got these kind of this green stuff on its surface and the glowing, so I'm not alone. This seems to be a thing that happens in this city. Look at its majesty though. Okay, yes, yeah, so the boat I will travel to one day, but for now I'm just trying to clean up this bottom left corner. So let's head in this direction. Let's race the whale. Race the whale. Make a note, Pete. That might be a possible episode title. I think the previous episode had a whale-themed title as well, so I might be overdoing it on the whales. Okay, yeah, this is definitely where we want to moor. Let's find our way around. And of course, it's always the last place you look. Uh, looks like there might be a little bit more climbing here than we've had at some previous stops. not that far. Still, I am glad that I'm stopping off at all these little places because, you know, they do have interesting and unique things to see. I did notice that square there. So tantalisingly close. So that's one thing. I mean, I, I do certainly appreciate how when you pick up a supply cache, 
it teleports you back to your home base because it means that you don't have to climb back down the the large buildings. And let's just get onto this uh, up a bit. Yeah, you don't have to climb back down the large buildings. But yeah, some of these smaller buildings, it would still be quite nice if you could have the same luxury afforded to you. Okay, so another little photograph we picked up to the east. Um, where exactly is it going to be? I'm definitely going in the right direction, so it's got to be this tall one here. Or maybe something just behind it. Oh no, there it is, I see it. This is Eclipsed State. I wonder if this is another landmark. Not seeing a supply cache at the top. But we haven't been given a little snapshot that we normally get when we find a new landmark. Oh, hello, what? I didn't imagine that, did I? A guy just jumped. Okay, um, so this, this building keeps going. And so if the building keeps going, then so do I. I wonder if this is where all of the, the weird guys live. I wonder if as we continue to climb, more and more of them are going to drop off. Um, can I jump up? I can. Maybe I shouldn't be here. Maybe I'm in their home and they're going to get annoyed. Okay, there's a bit of drop off. Yeah, I've stumbled upon something here, haven't I? Oh, there's another surprise there. Oh, okay, getting to this is going to be challenging. I think I'm going to need to go... Yeah, I'm going to need to go up and over. Something swimming around down there. I uh, can't drop down there. I think I need to keep going up. I'm now quite a long way above that spot. And I'm not seeing a way down. Maybe there'll be a way around the right hand side. Oh, we've got another landmark. What's this one called? Uh, we don't. Oh no, it's a creature. I see no creature. This is confusing. I mean, maybe maybe the little fellow who jumped off was the creature. Well, we've got something grabbable here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I didn't expect to be climbing all the way to the top of this huge building, yet here I am. Okay, well, I think this is where we're gonna need to end this episode. It's it's super cliffhangery, but you know, it's what we're doing. Hope you join me for the next episode of Submerged. Bye bye.